screen was developed in the cave at Brown University. It explores memory as a virtual experience and memory's instabilities. It creates new experiences of text in relation to the reader's body. Light over the sill of an unshaded bedroom window into a woman's eyes. Screen defies traditional away. expectations of the VR environment. It doesn't create a virtual landscape for cave users to fly over. Instead, it begins with a textual experience, one that reinforces the cave status as a box-shaped display. She reaches for the lamp switch to wake before sunrise to bring Nana breakfast. But her fingernails tap... Once this new experience has been established, Screen surprises again by introducing instability into this previously boundary-defining text. Reaches. The reader can strike at loose words, creating an experience of bodily interaction with text. Tosses. Struck words return to the walls, either to their original place or to that left empty by another loose word. Gather. Struck words may also break Speak. apart, creating neologisms as they combine on the walls with other words, whole or partial. Car. Hand. Smoothing. Reaches. Under. Over time, Back. words come loose faster and faster. Of. Over. Fingertips. His. Alive. Deed. Down. Loose. Because the location yes. of the cave's walls is reinforced by the texts, a reader can move quickly within the space without worrying about accidentally hitting a cave wall hidden by a VR illusion. When too many words are loose at once, the rest collapse. Finally, the reader is presented with a remnant memory text created through her bodily reading actions. We stare into the white void of lost memories, a loose scatter about us of what fragments remain. No sense but nonsense to be found there. If memories define us, what defines us when they're gone? An unbearable prospect. We retrieve what we can and try again. <laughs>